Welcome back, everyone. I am your host, Tom Funk, and this is the Michigan Trails Report. I am the author of 50 Hikes on Michigan and Wisconsin's North Country Trail. And today's podcast, well, that's what we'll be hiking. It's North Country Trail up in the Upper Peninsula. This will be hike number 48. In the Hiawatha National Forest, we're going to be skirting by the Mackinac Wilderness. So lace up your boots, throw in some gorp, grab a water bottle, and let's take a 22.3 mile hike through the forest. And before I forget, thank you to my friend Adam for providing the bumper music. Adam is a musician in Kelmsley, Michigan. Okay, you're going to begin to see some topography again along with some stream crossings. This area has considerably fewer managed woodlands, especially the nearby Mackinac Wilderness. Although the trail does not go through the wilderness area, it skirts just to the north of its boundary, which is uh, delineated by a utility right of way. The 11,000-acre Mackinac Wilderness was designated in 1987. As with most of Michigan's forests, the area now comprising the wilderness area was logged off by 1920. And since then, regeneration has allowed second growth forests to reclaim the land and some trees have been standing for nearly 100 years. Most visitors come for Mackinac's most notable feature, the Carp River, Flowing through the heart of the wilderness, the sandy bottom carp features water carved riverbanks and numerous oxbows. Find brook, rainbow, and brown trout, and they spawn in the carp and its tributaries, luring anglers. After leaving the area, you'll uh, you'll be after leaving the area around the Mackinac Wilderness, you'll head through some cedar swamp on an impressive boardwalk before crossing the Carp River on an even more impressive bridge. Continue to hike through more forests that starts to give way to less managed and more natural terrain, especially since you'll notice more aspen and younger forests as you trek southwest. You'll end at Brevort Na- Lake National Forest Campground, which is a popular and heavily used campground. How to find this place? Well, Trout Brook Pond is the northern trailhead of the segment, 10.6 miles west of the H40 West Trout Lake Road intersection, which intersects with M123 just south of Trout Lake. Brevard Lake National Forest Campground is a southern trailhead located west of St. Ignace by taking US-2 for 17 miles west of Brevard Camp Road and turning north. The campground is one mile north on the right. Other access points include the roadside parking at East Lake Road and Forest Road 3122. From the intersection of East Lake Road and H40 Trout Lake Road, take East Lake Road south 5 miles. East Lake Road is 1.3 miles east of the Trout Brook Pond parking lot. You can also access East Lake Road from the south, starting from Moran by taking Charles Moran Road east about 0.3 miles, then north on East Lake Road 10 miles to the trailhead. And where the North Country Trail crosses M123, there is a parking lot 7.2 miles northwest of Moran. So there you go. Different ways of finding the trail. This is a backcountry area, and backcountry camping is allowed. There are no services here. From H40, you're going to hike south, cross Bear Creek, and turn right after crossing Little Bear Creek. Both are reliable water sources. Blazes, they're all painted blue rectangles in this segment. The two and a half mile mark, the trail crosses over to the left and skirts Forest Road 3323, an unimproved road. Uh, And then you'll hike along this corridor for about a mile and then uh, bear right to the south. Maple Hill sprouts up in front of you, but you'll mostly walk around it and another small hill as you progress south. Look for rock outcroppings of Niagara in origin. Uh, this is the same formation that makes up the Pictured Rocks, Quama Falls, and, of course, Niagara Falls. You'll cross Forest Road 3144, Gamble Road, in 4.7 mile mark, and it is a gravel road. Just past the road is Guard Lake. The trail squeezes between the two forest roads and Guard Lake. Trail markers are mostly blue-painted rectangles still, and you will see some carcinite posts uh, in the ground. Guard Lake has bivouac camping opportunities. You'll kind of see these bivouac sites as you go by. 
At 5.6 mile mark, you'll cross East Lake Road, Forest Road 3119, and your footing, well, it can be a little squishy here during wet years as you walk through maturing hardwood forest. Cross the unimproved Forest Road 3327 at the 6.7 mile mark, and then you're going to climb up and over a small hill as you make your way to Kenneth Road, Forest Road 3122 at the 8.9 mile mark. The trail generally parallels closely but does not enter the Mackinac Wilderness. Cross several small streams and you'll uh, be generally heading downhill. And be wary that uh, there are several abandoned roads that are not marked in this area. And you're going to cross one at the 9.3 mile mark. And, and this is just before crossing the North Fork of the Carp River uh, two tenths of a mile later. This is a swampy area full of cedars, and in early spring, we are sure you're also going to experience a lot of mosquitoes. Cross Taylor Creek at the 11.6 mile mark, and it is also a reliable water source, and it's also in a swampy setting. Hike out towards M123 at the 14.1 mile mark, where the trail takes a hard left to use an abandoned rail grade to cross Bissell Creek. The trail will turn right or west to cross M123. Continue south, two-tenths of a mile to a parking lot. Enter a cedar swamp, and you'll utilize several corduroy boardwalks that elevate you above the mire. And my understanding is those have actually been replaced by actual um, punching boardwalks by this point. Either way, you're going to be up on a boardwalk. Be prepared to duck as the cedars do encroach, making for a small lane in places. Carp River's name is a misnomer. And you're going to find Carp River at 15.5 mile. Why, why do I say it's a, a misnomer? Well, this is actually a trout stream with decent fishing. A massive, well-constructed bridge will take you across, and there is a bivouac campsite at the foot of the bridge. Continue through the cedar swamp and head upwards in elevation back to dry pine forest. The trail will cut through an open area and bend southwest back into the forest, crossing Forest Road 3124, also known as Burma Road, at the 16.4 mile mark. After crossing a gas pipeline right-of-way, the trail utilizes an abandoned forest road through pine plantations planted by the Civilian Conservation Corps during the Great Depression. The trail heads southerly until it dips into an unnamed stream valley and then comes back to the uplands and bends southwest. Dip into the Silver Creek Valley... And the trail run uh, trail turns into boardwalk to cross Silver Creek at the 18.7 mile mark. The boardwalk continues through the swamp, and the trail then leads up and out of the valley, bends south, and hugs a pine forest on your west. After crossing Worth Road, County Road 520, at the 19.4 mile mark, you'll need to circumnavigate a ravine, cross a little used dirt road, hike through a pine plantation, and then cross Forest Road 3108, and you're almost done as you're at the 21.6 mile mark. The trail will utilize the paved road to cross the Little Brevoort River, and then heads back into the woods on the west side of the road, crosses Forest Road 3108, and 0.2 miles connects and comes to the Brevoort Lake National Forest Campground at your end point. What really surprises me about the segment of trail from Tuquamanon down to the Mackinac Bridge, it is lightly used, and there's some pretty cool topography, a lot of streams and wetlands and wildlife, got some good geology, uh, probably because there's not much uh, of a transportation service that can spot you. You probably got to bring two cars up there. However, you can get really creative and use the Indian Trail bus by taking out of St. Ignace and getting uh, dropped off uh, near Soldier Lake on M28. And you just got to double back a little bit. So it is doable with an Indian Trails bus. So keep that in mind. All right. Thank you very much. One more hike until we flip around and start uh, hiking in the Lower Peninsula.